तर स्टार्ट करूया ओके गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल टुडे इज अवर फोर्टे ऑफ द वेबिनार सिरीज अनलॉक टू लॉकडाउन on behalf of the anand vishwa gurukul junior college i professor sanjay choudhary welcome to our today's guest atharva gosavi i welcome to secretary of shada education society guru varya dr pradeep dhawa sir i welcome to our principal madam dr seema hardikar madam i welcome to all my colleagues teachers students of other colleges and parents and other dignitaries atharva gosavi is a assistant project manager marpet constructions and is qualified master in engineering constructions management stevens institute of technology is b civil dmc arori he is anand vishwa gurukul alumina he is a secretary indian graduate student association stevens professional new jersey state cricket player and try to keep singing in touch with he run a lot of during time of abg anand vishwa group we are proud of you author you are our family member and he is a favorite student why because every student is different from each other atharva is our avg science students in last 5 6 year back i taught him the math subject he was a ca student sachin sir and also know very well now he become favorite of anand vishwa gurukul avg of and of our principal madam atharva tula mait nasel aaj mi te tula sanar hai suvarna kan he pustak dr विजयालाड या सुप्रसिद्ध लेखिका ज्या ज्या निशिकांत वाड यांच्या मराठी नायक आहेत त्यांचे ह्या मातोश्री आहेत ते ह्या पुस्तकाचे संपादक आहेत आणि ह्या पुस्तकामध्ये वेगवेगळे प्रसिद्ध व्यक्तींनी लेख लिहिलेले आहेत त्यापैकी एक लेख आपल्या प्राचार्य डॉक्टर सिमहाडीकर मॅडमनी लिहिला आहे दृष्टी दृष्टी हा लेख तुझ्याबद्दल आहे जसे म्हटलं होते की सर्व विद्यार्थी सारखे असतात प्रत्येक जण वेगवेगळे असतात तसेच हे आपल्या अथर्व गोसावी बद्दल एलेव्हन्थ मध्ये ऍडमिशन झाल्यानंतर प्रिन्सिपल मॅडम शिरची ओळख कशी झाली काय कलागुणांचा विद्यार्थी होता हे सर्व मॅडमने ह्या लेखामध्ये लिहिलेलं आहे अँड धिस बुक इज ऍल्सो इज इन अवर रॅबरी इट इज अव्हेलेबल टू एव्हरी वन ऑन डिमांड यू कॅन रीड धिस बुक अँड आर्टिकल ऍसो you can read this book in uh, books and article also and i welcome to author for today's webinar i request to author to start our topics make the best use of lockdown yes author thank you everyone thank you as said by saudhari sir thank you seema ma'am thank you all the dignitary students staff association or everyone who is you know related somewhat now or was you know related earlier to anand vishwa gurukul welcome everyone it's my pleasure to give some of my thoughts regarding the lockdown with you all and as mentioned by saudhari sir uh seema ma'am has definitely kept your coffee copy for that particular book from me and i'm going to take it i have read it uh, the initial pages as she sent me but uh, i'm going to definitely go over the entire book uh so we are here again so i will just start my presentation once and then you would get to know what i'm speaking about just give me a moment just a second yep so here we are so what i'm trying to do today is you know explain you try and explain you you know the make make the best use of lockdown let me introduce myself as introduced by the our chaudhary sir uh, my name is atharva gosavi to the ones who have not know me 
I've completed my master's in construction management from Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm B civil from Datta Mege and our, like, everything is that Anand Vishwagul, Anand Vishwagurukul is the place where I started my journey towards, you know, secondary program or secondary step towards in my life. So to the ones who have unknown again, I'll start again, once again. So currently, right now I'm working as, you know, assistant project manager, but as you all know, we are in a lockdown situation. Even in the United States, we are in a lockdown and we are working from home. We are trying to cope up as, you know, we try to cope up as possible because the thing is that from construction background, you cannot really work from home, but these are the challenges you need to handle. And, you know, you are basically paid for those things. If you are doing great right now in the situation, you are excelling very well. So as I said, I'm the alumni of Anand Vishwa Gurukul and I'm very much proud about it. When like six years back, uh, I barely, you know, had a chance to search Anand Vishwa Gurukul on Google and get the information from the website. But uh, a few days back, I went on the website. Now I can see like it has got junior college, senior college. It has also got a law college and, you know, it's progressing day by day. And I hope it gets the, you know, the perfect response as it should be because it is just not the college or the school wherever you are right now as a student or as a professor. You're just not working over there, but you are working there as a family. So I, I've been the part of the family and I can, I'll try and continue with the part of the family as long as you know, everyone is, uh, they're still having the welcoming pace and everyone is enjoying their moment in the school life, junior college life, senior college life, everyone. So the first question today, why are you listening to me today? Um, because just because I have some, some of my thoughts giving you today, not, not right now. Why are you listening to today today? Because how to evolve professional life during the lockdown. So what I'll try to explain you is like, how, how can we try and, you know, get the best out of lockdown? How can we try and, you know, stop ourselves getting stressed? You know, how to manage stress during the lockdown? What did I do particularly during the lockdown? I mean, it's still the lockdown, but um, I guess in this, this Friday onwards, we are getting some, le you know, ease in the restrictions. We can start working from Monday onwards. As a part of essential worker team, I need to go there because right now we are getting some you know, some of the high essential work, such as, you know, getting the hospitals, the emergency wards, you know, we need to build those, all those things in, you know, a very less time. And it's our job. So what did I do during my entire span of two months? You know, it is very difficult. Let me explain you. You all might feel that sitting at home along with your parents or, you know, with your children, if you are a professor or teacher, you feel that, you know, it is getting difficult. But yes, it is much more difficult over here. The situation is getting worse and you can literally not step out of your place. So whatever I'll speak today, how this can help you. I'll explain you the techniques, like what, what this can affect you in a good way, in a bad way, and how this can help you much more in your life coming up. And the last but not the least, the use of the available resources. What kind of resources you have got today? I mean, during the lockdown situation, we know that many of the resources are not working, but you know, we try to use the most of the available resources and we try to get the most out of it. So first day of lockdown, I definitely know that everyone of us were like exactly the same way, right? The picture shows us, you know, everyone was dancing, enjoying each and every moment. And we were trying to get the best out of it. Like, yes, Everyone needs a break. Even I need a break. Yep. But certainly, after two months, now I feel like ah, uh, it's just a bit a longer break, which was not expected. Yeah, summer breaks are included. I know that, but that was still, you know, while you're in the school. Once you get out of the school, you don't have those summer breaks, and you're not used to all these things. Even if I got summer breaks, you you can go down. You can go play, you can get something, you can get some groceries for your mother, mom, dad, anything, anything, what you can, anything you can do. But for the lockdown, you cannot. Yes, as I said, we all got a break from our journey, but now, what do we do next? We had a big question. We cannot do anything for the next 20 days, 30 days. You never know. The situations are changing and you need to adopt as well. So, as I said earlier, I would start with the professional life. So, what does professional life mean to you? 
most of the times this is the picture what we see. I mean, this is the professional life what we have been learning. I mean, not just with our own study culture, but along with, you know, the Bollywood movies, everything what you watch. This is the professional culture. Like there'll be somewhere sitting up in a suit and tie and giving you some, you know, tremendous lecture. And you feel that, oh, you need to go that way. You need to change yourself that way. You need to mold yourself that way. Not really. If you're students right now, like in 10th standard, 12th standard in school, not really. What I would tell you is professional life are in different ways. Even a student life is a professional life. Why not? Because student life, what I feel is when you are a particular student and if you try to get this professionalism in you while you are in the 11th standard, 12th standard, then that might help you the best. Because I remember I was not as mature as the students or the people or the children or everyone, anyone else right now is because from what I know, I am from the 20th century and the 21st century guys are like really fast and it's your chance to you know, get the best out of it. Like we didn't had such fast internets like 4G speed. We didn't even had 3G speed, like six years down the line. It's like really good and you have got the best out of it. So you need to make the best out of it. So as said, professional life, it's just not for the students, but I'm addressing it for the professors as well. So how this professional life can help you. So I would start with the resume thing. Ah, you would feel that this guy is just giving the started a boring lecture, but uh, just wait for the best because I'm getting into some good topics early on. Resume. So if you look at this college resume, so what I'm trying to explain you here is, uh, resume is something where you put your inputs, whatever you have learned till now, whatever you have gained, what's whatever your, deg whatever your degree is. I mean, if you have completed fifth standard, sixth standard, everything. Just try and, you know, make the habit. Even if you're in the school, just try and make the habit of writing. Whatever I'm telling you is just not because the critics have been speaking all over the round, but it's, it's much important. Writing skills are the main part of the resume. Even if you have some, like if you say, I've just got my 12 standard done from AVG and I'm looking for some senior college or something like that. But the market is all about selling yourself. So if your writing skills are good, if you just, if you tomorrow say, I've completed my studies from Anand Vishwa Gurukul and I'm trying to pursue bachelors in something, something or something, something, that will give you a better impression. If you just say, I completed my 12th standard from Anand Vishwa Gurukul and then you would write, just say, I'm completing my bachelors from some XYZ school. No, because let me tell you, you might not understand the importance of resume right now, but Whenever you send a resume to any company, now after working in the same company, I get to know that whenever you send your resume in any company, no one reads your resume. So there is no single person reading your resume. So don't don't ever consider yourself that your resume has been read by someone person. It has been read by artificial intelligence. So there are some points you need to make sure that you should avoid mistakes. Never put a full stop in a resume. If by ever chance you put a full stop in a resume, you straight away your resume is cancelled. It's not even considered. You might even score 96%, 97%, or even 99%. But no, no one, no one actually looks at it because artificial intelligence has completely destroyed your resume just because you have put the full stop. You should avoid taking full stops. The next step is speaking skills. Yes, I know everyone right now in India know how knows how to speak. English knows how to speak Marathi, knows how to speak Hindi. But it's not just about, you know, you need to excel in that. So whenever I'm saying excel in something, excel in something, which means that it has got equal importance. I'm not telling you, you need to learn English and you need to be very fluent in English. You never know, you might, you might complete your, you know, masters or senior or some, something in some different field. You might, you might need Hindi. If you need to learn Marathi, you need to learn Marathi. You need to learn Marathi. That's the main importance. Right? You, need to, you need to keep on changing according to the time. So speaking skills are important and make sure that when someone messes up with the speaking skills, you are destroying your own career. So you've got two, three months now. You can try you know, improving your speaking skills. Learn new language. I mean, whatever I say new language is all about is not just the speaking language. 
as introduced to me by Chaudhary sir, we have yes, Sachin sir. sir, we have Gautam sir. Everyone is there right now. And if you want, if you need any help, they will be more than glad. If you are in the school right now or if you are in the 11th or 12th standard, if you try to learn a new language, if you try to learn Python, if you try to learn something new, if you try to learn C++, you know, they, they are ready to help you. You can, you know, try and refurbish the knowledge what you have and you can, you know, try to make it in a better way. You got two, three months now. Microsoft Office, as I said, you have got all these people, you know, the best, best technical people you have got over there and you need to, you need to make the most out of it. Just knowing Microsoft Word, Excel, Everyone knows that Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, but how to make the use out of it. How can I use my Microsoft Word file in Excel file? And how can I generate something from Excel just by clicking? I can open up a Microsoft PowerPoint. You need to learn all those things. Being a student, I know that these times it's getting hard, but yes, you need to learn all about it. Further moving on, family. Um, did I mess up with my slides? Not really. Because family, you will see that in a professionalism or professional life, why are you turning directly into family? What I feel is if you take the professional life in the family, it would be a much more importance. Why don't you think so? Because sometimes we may feel that if we are working in some company or if you are in school, if you are a teacher, if you are a professor, you, what you will say, now whatever I'm saying right now, I need to think about it. I cannot say anything because I'm addressing some people out there. The thing is that you try to maintain etiquettes, you try to maintain or you try to mod module yourself when you are you know, being a professional. And if you try those things to indulge in the family, then that can definitely help you out. As said, we have a family. We have a very good family. We have a very cute family. As I also said, we have Anand Vishwaguru family. So we need to get, everyone need to get in touch with all of us and we need to maintain the professionalism. So spend time with your family. You never know, you might, you might never get this two, three months gap ever in your life. And tomorrow you may feel that, you know, I'm just missing out on something which I used to, you know, which I might, might have enjoyed earlier in my time during coronavirus or COVID-19. We all feel like, what is the basic behind spending time? You might have been getting bored with your parents or the vice versa, the student, professors or the teachers, the principal, you might have got bored by something else, seeing the same faces. We are all tend to see new faces every day. And because of that, we might feel getting a bit bored, but no, what I'm saying is spend time with your family because you need that. Learn new things. Um, I would like to give an example. Earlier, if you might have had any idea about it, People used to stay together, like seven, eight, even 10 people used to stay at a single place. Have you ever noticed they have like-minded ideas, like-minded thoughts, like-minded, you know, solutions? So because of that, they had a good bonding. Today, if I see whatever I say, my brother will not accept. I know he's in 10th grade right now, but yeah, he, he will not accept at all. It has got changed. Now, why it has got changed? Because... We, we have got several ways to learn. We just, we just don't have got in a unified way. We are trying to explore ourselves in a much better way. So if you try to learn new things, you can, you know, you can have like-minded ideas. And if your parents are trying to explain or you know, give some ideas or give some good thoughts into your mind, then you will have the same thoughts all over there. Or what you can do is like, you can just speak to your parents, like what's the benefits of professionalism? So whenever, now you will say as a parent, when someone is you know, addressing to their boss or addressing to their peers, what they try to do is like, they try to tend and give everything in a professional way, which means you, you tend to have a fear that if I don't give it in a better way, I might lose my position or I might not get the best out of whatever I'm doing for. So what you can do is like, you know, try to act like whatever you had doing earlier. I mean, father-student relation or a father, there's, there's this guy and there's this father. We are, their relation is not good. Suppose you say they're having some quarrels due to the, getting, the, the guy getting in the teenage. They might have had some problems during the parents and, you know, something might happen. But this, you never know. This might be the best time, you know. 
you got around 2 to 3 months you know get everyone get everyone along with it and just walk away i mean that's the best way you can do and um, ease of understanding in teenagers and parents you know sometimes i feel that i cannot communicate my part so let me give my example my personal example when i used to stay with my family currently i stay in new jersey my family stays in thane right but our colleges but when i used to stay with my family i hardly had any conversation i mean i did had i, I don't say that i don't ha- i didn't had any conversation I, i did but i would definitely say the comfortness or the level of understanding was not the same when i came here i started talking a lot you know now we understand each other's mind you get to learn more about it now whatever i've learned after you know two years investing myself so much at the age of 22 23 you all can learn at the age of 18 17 16 15 and you never know you can all enjoy those benefits right now i'm sorry and exchange of ideas one more example when i try to spend time with my family when i just try to connect myself on the call earlier only my mom dad and my brother used to get on the call but now as my grandparents are well about it that coronavirus or covid-19 is getting spread and it's creating a havoc in the united states they want to connect to me they don't have any you know means they don't know how to connect but what they did yes my grandma learned how to do a whatsapp call so exchange of ideas this needs to be done someone you need to share something with your you know peers they might be happy about it they are like she is today like 83 84 and she is enjoying it now she knows how to operate a phone she knows how to operate internet at least she knows how to call someone this is a this is a i would say a big thing for her because those are the people from you know they they, they didn't even see independence they they saw independence now they are seeing the times from independence till you know you can call you know within miles my grandfather used to work in vsnl he used to you know get all these international calls and he used to like tell me every time whenever i pick up the call it takes around 5 to 6 minutes for me to connect a call it was back in 1980s but now whenever he sees me he is like more than happy he he is just like yeah you are almost right next to me so that that's the exchange of ideas they get happy and when you try to explain them some good things like as a student or someone at the age of 18 19 they try to explain their parents or they try to explain their peers but sometimes due to the misunderstanding or miscommunication you may not try to, i mean you may not be able to explain them whatever you are trying to but you know if you try to exchange those ideas you can get to know what are what are the points which they will be enjoying most tomorrow if i say there is there is this hot topic today that yesterday um or yesterday or day before yesterday the 20 lakh crore topic was a 20 lakh crore you know stimulus was been given by government but yes now that's the hot topic now everyone is just speaking about that even in the families my younger brother till my grandfather from 86 age of 86 till age of 16 there is a 70 years gap but they have those exchange of ideas that's a good thing you need to have those things so whatever i'm saying right now may be vague but you know just try to indulge them so that you you can get the best out of it and connection between two generations three generations as i said you can grandmother you know anywhere your parents anywhere can get in contact with the family now the main part comes in this into the picture we all feel a bit stressed like initially as i said it was good but down the line two months no i want to go outside i want to i want to at least get some groceries which was which my mom was expecting for me like last two months and i used to deny that but today now i'm like yeah i can go anywhere any route and get those things i can understand what you were feeling right now but yeah i again i'm not speaking about covid-19 because still now two, it's been two months and i feel everyone are experts right now because everyone knows what to do what not to do and there are medical professionals in our field who are continuously helping us with unwanted things and want look what we need to follow so again stress we you know what are the main three reasons of getting stressed what i feel is the routine mix up you know yeah today i mean yes till till like two months back uh, at 8 o'clock at 8 o'clock in the morning 
I used to leave my place. I used to reach my office place or work by starting by 9.15, 9.30. And then everyone used to go on. And I used to come back at 5. My routine was properly going on. But now, but now when I start everything again and the routine mix-up is there, what does that mean? I initially, initially when I was, you know, started, you know, I slept for a bit long. Even I can say if I used to wake up at seven o'clock, I, I started waking up at eight, then it went to nine, then it went to 10. You know that because everything is working from home, you tend to get lazy. We need to avoid that. So this is a change in habits. So we are not used to, to stay with the same, same family members or what you can say, now I stay with roommates, but I'm just, I can definitely tell you that I'm getting bored looking at the same five faces. You might feel be the, feeling the same. And I'm being so frank to you because I can understand the students or, you know, the junior college students, the stu uh, students from the school, everyone might have the same mindset because I, I get some inputs from my brother because he tells me that I'm getting bored right now, sitting at home, attending classes, starting in tuitions, everything. And you can literally have no freedom. No, you can definitely have freedom. I'll explain you further how as a teenager, you can enjoy yourself. Also, you know, getting up, teamed up with your professional life, getting involved with that. Mental stress. I have heard that many people are getting more work sitting at home and they are feeling like, no, I will definitely enjoy traveling in one hour train and then, you know, work out there. But you don't see, you're, you're right now, you're working from home and you never know that practice might be continued for permanently for your particular position. So this doesn't definitely mean that this is going to be there for two months or three months. Down the line, what I see is like, we, we are having a lot of population in our India and there are less office spaces or there are, you know, people need to pay high rentals for their office spaces. So the future of working is going to be work from home. And definitely, you know, I'm going on 18th of May, I mean, this, this coming Monday in my office, but I'm pretty much sure after that for the next month or so, I'm not going anytime. I'm just going to get some of my, some of my stuff, you know, getting the server issues with it. I'm just going to fix them all. That's it. I'm not going again. So this whole culture will be going to continue, not for the students, but this mental stress needs to be handled very well. So again, how and when stress hits you hard. Like, look at the increasing count of the positive cases. You know, you might feel someday, like, yes, till yesterday it was like 1,500 or 1,600. I'm just giving an example, hypothetical example. And tomorrow, if it's just 2,000, you never know. Those cases might have been earlier in the field, like 15 days ago, and you're, this number is just getting disclosed right now. There is no point of you getting stressed as long as you're maintaining your hygiene you will have no problem. And I think this is the main reason why people are getting stressed out these days. With no vaccine guarantee, there is a mental stress. Again, like we know there is no vaccine for this particular thing, we are again mentally stressed. But as I said again, if we follow the steps followed given to by our you know, Ministry of Health or you know, our, our CM, our PM, everyone is trying to give their best inputs, like what need to be doing, what we can avoid, if you just follow the same thing, you don't need to take real stress. Like we are not really the ones who are making any decisions. The decision makers are already taking that stress and you can definitely look at them. You know, they are, they are so tense. They are giving their inputs. You don't need to get stressed. You're a common man. You're just, you know, you've just been asked to stay indoors and work, whatever you have. I know, you know there are financial issues. Everything issues come. It's the, that's particularly, I mean, perfect. But the steps will be taken particularly. No use of vehicles, physical stress. So you, uh, the best example would be you want to get milk. Um, the milk delivery guy has stopped suddenly just because it's Corona or you don't want him you know, to get the milk delivered to you because of the contacts. There are no vehicles. Sometimes you need to go somewhere else. You are out of petrol from your car, your bike, anything. And you need to walk. There is a physical stress. A person who is just used to work from nine to five in the office, sitting on a chair, going to the office, coming back, 
and having food, you know, helping out with some household needs and then just sleeping it out. What happens to the same person who doesn't have the habit to walk and just to sit, he will definitely get that physical stress. I mean, I know sometimes we need to go like a mile or I'm saying sorry for that. When you, when you go, you need to go for like 1.8 kilometers or two kilometers, you know, you try to get some groceries, some stuff. Yeah, but now there are no vehicles available. You need to walk down the road. So again, I'm going to help you out with how to overcome this stress, these techniques. And as I said earlier, changing routine, that's a routine stress. I mean, you get those along with the time and you cannot help it out. So all these actions would be evidently seen by our children. And if you are, um, I mean, if you are a parent or if you are a children, you need to make sure that this should be avoided because if as a children, like if I'm, if I'm doing these things and if there are parents around me, they would definitely get to know that I'm getting stressed out. I mean, you never know. You might have a, you know, banter between your parents and children. You might, you know, just, just say something or that might hurt your parents or as a parent, you might say something because of getting stressed to your children. And particularly why I'm telling this, because when, when we tend to get stressed, we, we say out something that might not be intentional or unintentional. But sometimes as a, as a younger one, you know, I remember my father saying to me, you, you are not doing anything right now. It was way back in like seventh or eighth standard. But uh, definitely, you know, that's not the case. I mean, I was doing something, but at that time I felt like, Am I really not doing anything or am I best just being a burden to my family right now? That the students or the children might feel that we as a parent or as a peer, and I'm not just saying as a parent, but as a peer, you know, some students might come to you, principal ma'am. Some students might come to Sachin sir. Some students might come to Saudi sir asking for some doubts, some for help. That help might be anything. And if your physical or the mental, your mental you know, state is perfect, then even if you are not teaching any particular subject, but, you know, you are his peer, so, and he is there for, you know, he's asked for some kind of help. So you will kind of give the best, the best, probably the solution from your side. And if you are not having the mental state in a correct way, you might not be able to give the best solution. So that's the balance, which will be, you know, getting hit if we are getting stressed a lot. So, as uh, sir, yeah, you are now entering the stress-free zone. So, I would just explain you what did I do and what did you, what do you all need to do during these times. So, as I said, like reframe these things. Just a moment. Yep, reframe these things. I'm stuck inside. You know, to I can finally focus on my home and myself. So, tomorrow, if I said I'm just stuck in my home and I cannot do anything, no, not really. You should focus on your home. You might not even know what things have been kept where. So if tomorrow you've been asked, like, get me some tea or get me, you know, some, some kind of spices. As a student, you never know. If you're not working anytime in the kitchen, you never know. You, why don't you think in a better way that you, you would get to know that where are those stuffs and in some emergency situations when the homemaker like your mom or there is some someone else or or even a dad some someone might find up in a critical situation you need to help it out and what do you do yep finally focus on your home that's what my answer is again and again focus on your home try and um and yourself as i said because we are so busy in our schedule that we you know never tend to you know get give proper attention towards yourself and you know keep on deteriorating your life. And this is not a good way of, you know, enjoying a happy life. So focus attention from external to internal. Yes, 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 yes. You need to work from home. I, I can completely understand. But yes, you need to fo completely change your mindset right now. Yes, you work from home. But yes, as a home. But what I, from the first point, what I was telling was, when you work from home, you try to portray the professionalism sitting at home. Again, the point when I'm taking it back and back, you're trying to portray something sitting at home, professionalism. 
if you try to bring the same professionalism in internal like again you you focus something you get something out of it you never know you might you know have a good thing and that might change into your career one productive thing positive attitude that's the perfect thing i mean as i said earlier i mean i i i never scored 85 percentage 90 percentage or 90, 95 percentage during my 11th standard or 12th standard any time the the best thing i remember is uh, one fine day i i went for a dance practice um there was this sir named shubhu sir and i went for a dance practice i um sorry for this but i i just went for dance practice just to you know get involved during the dance and just to you know not get being a study geek i just went for the dance practice but see uh, i i did extremely bad dance and um, i was not selected for the dance on that particular occasion but then again i got a chance like there was a chance either me going to the classroom sit again attend the lectures you now do my homework assignments go home or there was another option try something else that's what i'm telling you if you try something else and you you might never know i mean you can get out of it and you that that can help your life so um there were as i said there were peers at avg during my ten and I, and i know that there are many more many more peers which would be able to help you right now i went for singing i didn't even know the s of the singing but you know there there were few people there were rajesh sir there were amit kundra sir there were ma'am everyone was there and everyone was just you know helping me out in a way somewhere or the other i never thought that i would get the confidence right now i'm speaking to you all um that was the first time probably i was addressing more than 20 25 people now i know i mean i used to address people when i, I didn't i never had the stage fear but addressing or you know showing your skills to someone is really a different thing so i'll i'll take you back again because one productive thing and we'll make a positive attitude so th- these are the skills and what initially i told you to i guess you know make sure you t- you get your resume correct yes so these skills needs to be developed and you know whatever you have right now with you goes into the resume that's a certification that i own these skills and these skills should be with me all of the time so i'm not telling you to study hard or study well because there are people right now i can see the faces over there they are very more professional in explaining you how to study what i would say is like how to enjoy your life along with the studies because you know being productive and being street smart is the second best thing you need to have and that's how you can get it if you have a positive attitude chance to complete long awarded task we might think that i need to clean up my room yeah and we never do that because just because it's like i'm not getting time i'm not getting scheduled everything is just messed up if you are a lady i mean you would see that your kitchen might be messed up you can try to clean it up if you are you know you know person out there your shelf or any, anything i'm not stereotyping anything a lady or for this but anything what you are doing right now that might be messed up you might even feel that you are sometimes there are situations where students say that um i know particularly because there were some people from my batch who used to give the same reason when asked like why don't you cut your hair like people would say i don't get time and after evening i i i simply don't get time now what the people are doing right now um i wouldn't say you go out but what people are doing is they started to you know cut their hair on their own so you're getting the skills so you do something to get out of something unless and until you get at that point that you change yourself that this is the thing now i need to change it you can never get out of those things so you have got a golden opportunity chance to complete long awarded task you know that can be done that can be anyone and again chance to slow down and focus on yourself now what does this mean just just not being slow down is just not ease into the life be lazy enjoy the time that's not the thing what you can do is like if you are not fit you can try and get fit um as far as i know the corona cases or covid-19 cases have been hit to the ones who are elderly first thing because their immunity system goes down and secondly to the one who have got multiple diseases 
So if you keep yourself fit, I mean, there is no chance you would be, you know, getting in contact with Corona. Even if you have those infections around you, your body would be more than enough to, you know, fight against them. So, I mean, this example, I would like to relate this example with yesterday's uh, speaker. They were trying to give you um, some kind of tips, like how biological count and everything was explained. He was explaining in a much better way than I can explain you right now. But if I might have attended yesterday's session, you might get to know. The fitness, everything, even a small particle in the body works in a better way if you try to, to take it in a better way. Um, second way is like how to get out of stress, stay close to your normal routine. Wake up at 7.30 if you wake up, if you used to wake up at 7, wake up at 7.30, wake up at 8, but don't make it 10. I mean, I really, you know, in the first three, four days when the work from home station was not set up, I was like, yes, I've got this break. And I literally woke up at like 11 a.m., 11.30. Uh, I'm not giving you any bad advice or telling you to wake up at 11 a.m., 11.30. But that's the bad thing. You need to avoid it. You need to get up at the same time. You need to have food at the same time. You know, try to uh, be in the same schedule as during pre-quarantine days. You know, what were you doing? You were doing studies. You were attending classes. Yes, as I spoke before the seminar, I spoke to see my mom. And she told me that the classes have been held over Zoom. I saw there are some notices put up on the website as well. So, you know, you have got such source. I mean, I was just thinking if these things ha had I been like six, seven years back, um, I would have never completed my 12th standard. I would say that because you have got all the facilities, you know, try to enjoy them, try to get the best out of it. You know, our lethargic lifestyle can lead to negative thinking again. You know, if I tend to, you know, wake up late, I tend to sleep late. There is this again body mechanism coming. Your body make particular enzymes after 11 p.m. at night. So if you sleep like around two o'clock, three o'clock, or if you have food after 11 p.m., then those enzymes won't be created at the same time. And why am I telling you these things? If from birth you're sleeping at 4 a.m. and waking up at 2 p.m., that won't be a problem because your body is used to it. Now suddenly, if 23 years my body is used to, you know, sleeping at around 12 o'clock or maybe 1 a.m. in the morning and waking up at 7 o'clock or 8 a.m. in the morning. And if I suddenly, you know, change the schedule, the enzymes which I was speaking wouldn't be created properly. You will have much more problem in digesting food. You know, that can all lead to negative thinking. Like, as I said, um, the best example I would give. So, I was... Um, on 12th March, I stopped going to my office. And on 14th March, I mean, I tripped at my home. There was this marble, I tripped at home, I broke my jaw. I got upgraded. Now I'm speaking to you after one and a half months. One month, I was my mouth was completely shut. What I take the best out of this is if I was in a much better way, if I was able to talk, if I, had, if, if I didn't have this you know, mouth closing, or jaw or infection around my mouth, I would have simply gone out to get some groceries or, you know, I might have, you know, getting contact with the infections as well. I might have got Corona. And, you know, I would rather prefer having this jaw broken over Corona because jaw can be cured and you can definitely get back into the life as far as Corona is concerned. So, you know, try to avoid these negative thoughts because you might feel like, oh, you got, you didn't enjoy those one month or, you didn't try to enjoy the food that was prepared during the one month because right now I can definitely see that everyone is getting a cook and that's the best thing in the community because you you don't need to rely on someone now because there are a few people who who never prepare their own meal. But now, I mean, you have to because you're getting some interest or you're watching some of the, you know, videos with our, you know, you know, chefs, professional chefs, and you like feel like, oh, even I can make it if my brother can do, and you try to do it. As I said, maintain sleeping cycle because that will, you know, definitely harm yourself, your body, everything. Maintain hygiene. And I don't need to tell you this, how to maintain hygiene, the 22nd, everything. No, 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 I won't tell you. Maintain hygiene, what does this mean? Um, I'm pretty much sure we all, you know, try to clean our house during Diwali. Why don't we celebrate the Diwali earlier this time? Yes, we did. 
I mean, we all of us like the Diaz, as as our Prime Minister asked us to light up the Diaz, we did. But did you think that during Diwali, before lighting up the Diaz, you clean your entire house? Did you do that? No, not really. Don't you feel that's a part of your hygiene, and particularly during these COVID-19 times? It doesn't mean that you just clean your floor or something. Maintaining hygiene means you are completely, you know, sanitizing your house. If we can do that during the Diwali, and if you have like, if you contract to like some cold or cough in during one once during a year, so it might be happening that because of you know just getting the house clean once, I mean entirely, you might have those diseases. You can definitely get you know rid out of the diseases completely. Maintain normal hygiene, and start doing exercise if not. Now I can see that many people don't exercise, or many people only try to exercise after 11, 12, and they feel that their muscles would, you know, try and you know there would be some problem. But no, what what I'm trying to do is like do normal Surya Namaskar, do the normal yoga, which we've been taught every time during the school. If you are in the school right now, you are definitely getting taught yoga. I know that. You know, just you know, try and you know, practice those things. If you try those things, you'll be fit. And I know that you know many people have the habit of used to going to gym. I mean, what you can do is like you might have uh, oil containers, right? You might have every time doing at home. Why don't you just fill water with it? You can use that a dumbbell. I mean, you can start doing it. Just don't give me excuses that like no, the gym was closed. Um, can you hear me properly? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, you can say that as the gym was closed, you know, I sat at home and now I have this big stomach right now in front of me. That doesn't make sense. If you were fit earlier, I mean, you got a break and you cannot get, you know, unfit now because I, I, I know that we are having, you know, completely different schedule. We are eating anything like I've probably not seen getting those new dishes cooked at my place during the lockdown because the thing is that Everyone is so busy, no one really tries to enjoy the food. And during the lockdown, the food is the only thing which keeps you connected. And you all try to, you know, get the best out of it, you know, get all those, you know, we try, everyone is trying to make vada pav out of at home. Even I tried it over, not, not the best thing. But yeah, I can understand that completely because that's, that's what the human tendency is. So start doing exercise, if not routine. I mean, that's the main thing. Ah. What the main point? Stop watching excessive coverage of COVID-19. Yes, we all are, you know, experts over here. There is media. There, are, I, I even saw um, there was one uh, very, very known uh, reporter who who gave a seminar um, like three, four days ago. I don't recollect his name, but yeah, his. I, I just went through his seminar. I guess uh, Professor Sagar was with him. I'm not sure during that seminar, I'm not sure. So, I mean, so what What he was trying to explain you is like, you need to get something, I mean, during the uh, news, as news, but you know, try to avoid excess, you know, coverage during the COVID-19 because you get those numbers. Initially, what happened was like, when India was not during the peak, US was, you know, at the peak already. Now we have more than five to six lakh, you know, particular uh, points where you get in contact with coronavirus. Man, my family was completely, you know, getting stressed out. And there was some time when I was speaking to them because I used to call once or twice in a week earlier and now they call me every day. And, you know, you try to, you know, give the best out of yourself. You try to speak with them. And initially what happened was like, they used to always tell me the number, whatever it is in the United States. They used to tell me, don't do this, don't do that. And a point came where I was like, why don't we just speak something about ourselves? And why don't we just not speak about Corona? And I got irritated. Then my parents were like, I guess we should, you know, reduce the talking. I mean, we talk a lot and that's why you get irritated. But it's the same picture. Now, it's been like two months since the coronavirus is in India. It's been three months since coronavirus is in US. Uh, we, we, we still have a uh, you know, count which, which I just hope 
India never catches up with. But you know, we are getting down. Now I don't have any stress as such related to coronavirus. And I can see that my parents have reduced their, you know, we still speak every day. Now after this call, I might be speaking with my parents right now. But the thing is that now we do not speak about coronavirus, even they have got, you know, to understand. Like if you keep saying the same thing again and again and again, you might get stressed out. And you know, that's the relation I'm talking about. You should not hamper that relation. That stress needs to be maintained and that stress needs to be cured to maintain that relation. Because you never know, you might hit the hit that point hard and I might, you know, get some topic which would not be convenient for me to discuss with my father. But that should not be the thing. Keep yourself organized, you know. What you are doing, keep making just the same thing. Why I have given this in black? Because avoid obsessing over endless coverage and a chaotic home can lead to a chaotic mind. You know that these cases are there. Everyone knows, everyone knows. The stress that I said about what a chaotic home can lead to a chaotic mind. Even if you have, you know, playing some kind of serials or some kind of, you know, news channels all the day, all the time, you might have not enjoyed the peace. Now, I won't sit outside coming here on any regular day, but today, because uh, I want to, I want to present my my views towards you. I'm sitting outside, and you know, I can just literally hear the birds chirping out there, and that's that's the best time. I mean, that's that's the new thing I learned today while giving you this presentation. So just try to you know maintain yourself, and you know, try to learn something new out of it. It's very hard, I can definitely understand, but you need to do that. Start a new quarantine routine. What does that mean? Start doing something special. If you are not aware about any particular thing, let's say if you are not aware about any particular topic in mathematics and uh, you have class with Chaudhary sir, you try to connect with him, you, you don't get in contact with him, but you still have that topic. But right now, even if he has taught you anything uh, really in a really good manner, and just because of the communication barrier, you are not able to get the best out of it. What you can do is what you can start maintaining a daily log of whatever you are not, you know, getting or you know, understanding. And then, what I would suggest is whenever the school reopens, um, you can ask those questions, jotted out questions, to your professor. Or particularly, if not, you can you know request for a you know and session which would help you you know he would definitely help you out like how to get those queries solved, how to get those sums solved. I mean that's the best thing. And as I said, I mean you can use you can utilize the resources what you have. We have got all these professors right now. You can utilize them definitely. Why not? And what I would definitely say is that if you have a good relation with them. Now, if, if, if at all I didn't have a good relation, I mean, with any of them right now on the screens, then I might not be this comfortable speaking about my family because I know that there are people watching and I, there are a few things you don't like or you, do, you don't want to share it. But right now, I, since I know that this is the uh, crowd I'm addressing today, these are the people I'm addressing today, I'm much more comfortable toward it. And that's the reason I'm being able to speak properly and. I hope I continue it for the next uh, end of the session. So these are the things you need to keep in mind. Stop, you know, stop uh, doing the things you used to do in your regular life. So if you if you used to dance um, regularly, I, I won't say stop dancing. What? Why don't you, you know, start teaching someone dance? I mean, you never know that might be your profession. Start singing learn playing an you know instrument now i know that uh, i don't have that much of rhythm to play a guitar but my roommate definitely plays a guitar and what i do is like i just tag along with him now now i don't now i used to sing in 11th 12th i continued it in first year second year but then there was not much of time for me to get along with it but now what i do is like there are some Events now, as uh, I was been introduced, like I, I am the secretary of the IGSA, which means Indian Graduate Student Association. 
so what we try to do is we 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 try to indulge people you know to maintain and keep the same indian harmony um the habits everything on the, on that particular special day so i mean i i uh, like after one year or one and a half year i was singing with the mic i mean i would say that i learned something new because today i was not addressing just the indians i was addressing the international students as well so that was a breakthrough where, like when i got to know that what would they feel after you know hearing two hindi songs what would they realize so what we do is like we just sing because everyone knows what hindi is all about in india what i try to do different is like i try to give them the meanings out of it and i i try to explain them what what the singer is trying to portray or what the singer is trying to tell and in the projector i i actually played that song and you know the videographs were explained to them so it's not just you're singing but you're just explaining someone so you can you know teach someone dancing you can you know learn an instrument video call your relatives and or your loved ones if they are away i mean i definitely know that there there might be someone of you some of your relatives who are you're really close with and you you know you want to ask how they are how they are doing but it's not just a correct way uh, you cannot go there right now because um, there are circumstances where you cannot avoid this thing so get in touch video call them i mean you you i i, I suddenly get calls from few relatives which were not in even in touch with me like 15 20 days back or maybe a month ago but i got to know something more about them you know just video call them get to know more about it if not you can try cooking to i mean there is this stereotype still going on in india like only women cook and men don't cook no that's not the thing i cook my food every day for last one and a half years i'm cooking my food there are six fellas outside they cook their own food and you need to cook your own food just 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 to hold an advice to all the men to boys everyone out there just try cooking something new you never know i mean your your wife i mean your mother someone might get a break and they would be really happy that can change the relationship between you if they are not happy with something and if you cook something even if you cook bad they would be happy but just try i mean that's a new routine you can start with again learning so what what exactly you need to get out of this skills ability growth training competence knowledge experience you know to gain all those things and i need and i basically feel that this thing needs to be explained properly so what did i do i never thought that i would be doing diploma in sports nutrition i mean suddenly i when i came here um you would say last june or july i got a break like i always loved playing cricket i mean and due to some conditions so you can say due to the high competition in india i never went into it or i was like you know having a fear that if i concentrate on cricket i would not be able to concentrate on my studies but you know today i mean i i play i have my own kit i play for new jersey state associations like you you might have known mumbai premier league something kind of you might have heard like so that's the same thing what we have we play international you know level matches there are many there are many uh, players like you know international players you know joining us or umpiring us some something like that i did a diploma in sports nutrition so what exactly sports nutrition means it's just doesn't mean that sports and diet no sport nutrition means if i'm playing any particular sport what are the need needful calories of that particular sport you need to learn all those things i mean i never thought that i would do sports nutrition but from what i got to learn from that thing i have i would definitely say if you follow any particular diet or if you do or if you study that diet just having a diet is a different thing and studying the importance beyond that diet is a different thing i lost around 12 13 14 kg in around 6 to 7 months span i if i just show you i i, I don't have that in the presentation but if i um just tell you that i was this fat before and i'm this fit now because there is this a and i which makes the difference fat and fit 
just need to get i instead of a that's what the vowels here here for a e i o u so, and then get i over there and you will get fit so i did diploma in sports learning new courses from construction background now since i have been in construction background i am working with something known as assistant project manager i'm working with all the courses what i'm now doing is there are few courses in construction industry there are few softwares in construction industry which you need to learn now i know the basic softwares how to cad revit and there are many more and i know what i did was i learned new courses even now i have like got one and a half hour of course left after which i would be certified after i would be co course certified so there there are these softwares provided so as students as i mean students from the school what you can do is like you can learn how to you know how to be fluent speaking how to write how to explain yourself you know sometimes there there are instances even even i made a mistake uh, in my earlier conversation that is sometimes i have i have so if all of you must have been uh, used to with the, the microsoft word there is one part called thesaurus which helps you to improve the language of your particular word if i'm saying i don't want to do this thing sorry if i'm failing i would say i am deteriorate deteriorating in this situation so just you know taking one word from thesaurus and using the basic language for the entire sentence which spoil the entire sentence even if you are using some good word you need to maintain that along with the entire sentence the support should be good as said because if if one child is good in the school or in the college and if there are a few people around him who are you know not even interested towards you know going some in a positive way that child even might get spoiled and that's the thing what i'm telling you you know you need to learn something out of it i completed certificate courses i maintained my fitness i kept in touch with friends and family had one healthy discussion with my roommate every day what does that mean i suddenly don't know a few things and i try to ask some doubts now i what i ask is like why is i'm just giving an example it's hypothetical why is two after one and not before so this is the kind of discussion what we try to you know imply in our house because of that you start thinking even the discussion might be baseless even it has no clue even if us you know thinking something else at least you try to think when you don't have anything you know i was just last you know two three weeks back i was just hang, you know banging my hand on the you know wall just because i have nothing to do but if you keep having these thoughts some healthy conversation you know have a healthy debate if you want then you can definitely you know get out of it i clean my house yes i did that and change the orientation of my room you know what happens is like you have the tendency of keeping the bed in this particular way and you are you know so used to it but what what if you change the orientation you might see a different view when you sleep i mean that's that's there are those small things you can change to get rid of because you cannot actually go out of the house try to change your view i mean that's that's the way you can help it out i mean i also watch some series documentaries to entertain myself i'm not saying just learn i'm definitely saying that you can go ahead you know watch some series with your parents because even they are helping you out the same thing right now everyone is watching series documentaries and entertaining themselves what i'm trying to do is to support all these things what i'm telling you and the main thing i'll come again how this can help you so as a particular student or in you know, a professor how this can help you first thing no negative thoughts allowed so basically this would help you if you follow this schedule this regime you will have no negative thoughts around the way you will learn something new every day even if you i mean if i'm i can bet you right now that if you try to compare um the the roti or the chapati you get um i can make it completely circle in a circular shape right now earlier i, I was not doing that i mean those are the few things you can learn something new day keep thinking positive because if you keep thinking positive you will get something out of it you would you know you never know you might get a breakthrough which would which might be your career which might be your business which might be your future you know you need to have a good vision to have a good life 
you know, get in good relation with your teachers. If not, if you are not in good relation with your professors, teachers, peers right now, I think you're losing the most part out of it because those are the ones you can, you know, change your thinking if you are not thinking in a better way. And if you are not having some, uh, if you are having some issues, you can get resolved with the help of the good relationship with the teachers. And last but not the least, be a better person. If you if you try to get all these things in a single place, you would definitely be a better person. And that's what it is you would take um, uh, from the life after the lockdown. So, what are the users available resources you can take? You can you know you know, go ahead and learn something on YouTube. You can, you know, go ahead and learn something on LinkedIn. There is this Shaw Academy thing. It's free. Initially, you can, you know, just, we have logged on for two months, right? You don't need to pay anything for that. You can just enjoy a two months free subscription. There are these courses in, available at Udemy and Coursera. You can learn those things. And also Google News. I would like to give you an example for the LinkedIn. So if someone, uh, is having an account on LinkedIn right now, I would just tell you that please go on hashtag plus one edge. I'm again repeating hashtag plus one edge. What are the benefits of this? If you just go there, there are a few people from the LinkedIn community who are helping you right now to get the premium membership. The premium membership is on 1500, 1500 rupees per month and you get around six months free membership. And in those free membership, you get the, you know, there is this LinkedIn learning wherein you can, you know, learn new topics and new subjects and new, something new. You can even learn anything what you want from that LinkedIn learning. But what you need to do is that you just need to try and explain the person who is offering those six months free membership. Just explain them. Why do you need them? What are the, you know, what are the, you know, purposes you're taking the LinkedIn premium for? You cannot, and I definitely know, no one is going to pay that $1,500, $1,500, sorry, again, 1500 rupees per month. But, you know, if you get those six months of free, you can enjoy those six months of free education. And you might, you might even have something else or something extra than what your peers are teaching you right now. And if you tell them these things, they would be more than happy to take this as a compliment. Because you, if, if someone, if there's a teacher and you're explaining them, that this thing is a good thing and you can take this thing um, maybe in your course sometime later, then they would be more than happy to take it. And Microsoft Office, you know, use available resources because I highly recommend you. Microsoft Excel is, I mean, the least important given topic, I would say. But Excel is the only uh, way you can excel in your life. What I'm trying to explain you is like, Microsoft Excel is very small, it's very detailed, and sometimes we feel that just making tables and that's that's it. That's how we that's how we make Microsoft Excel, but that's not the way you need to learn. Just please make use of the available resources. You have got uh, you know Sachin sir out there, Gautam Gautam sir out there, you know, make sure that you use the resources out there, you try to learn everything. Because I, I particularly remember that um, I had clear in my mind that I would be doing civil engineering after my 11, 12. But, you know, there was this thing. Um, I took computer science and um, I, I learned C++ during, the computer, during my computer science uh, thing. Um, I did a project uh, with one of my colleague named Parth and it was, it was a self-line following robot. Now, I would never do that if I have my construction background and I'm doing a robot. I would never do that. But just because you get to learn something out of it and you try to do it, that would help you, you know, I mean, in my first year of engineering, I had this subject called structural programming analysis. If I would have never tried how, how the robot runs or how, what's the programming all about it, maybe it would have been difficult for me to get that subject cleared in my engineering. And last but not the least, I would tell all of you, I mean, enjoy the vacation, whatever you are getting right now, enjoy your time, just don't be stressed out, you know, definitely study, but enjoy because that's the thing you are here for if you don't get those memories right now, because you have seen two things in your life till now. And I, and I think that two revolutionary things, one was the 
um, uh, I guess the note bandi, the currency stop was done. That was the first revolutionary thing done in 2000 or in the, from in like 20th century or 21st century, you can say, because the revolution earlier happened was just independence and there was nothing else happening. So the, you have been part of two revolutions and you should, you know, have those memories in you. And I should, and I think that you should have good memories out of it instead of having bad. So that's what you can, you know, do. As always, thank you, Anandusha Gurugul, because I, I remember this place, everything, and it keeps on changing over the period I go there. And and as you can see um, over there, Anandige sir is just trying to, you know, this is the Gurukul and you all are welcomed here. You all are welcome with lots of knowledge being ready to give to all of you to be in the community. Just, you know, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, all dignitaries out, out there. And um, whatever I'm trying to explain, it's all just because of you. You might have given me something or the other. And that's why I'm trying to, you know, explain you in a much better way right now. Um, if at all uh, I have said anything uh, which you don't feel correct, I am not as asking you to you know keep that in your mind or do anything. Just take my idea, be positive. That's that's the main idea. You can do anything else, whatever you want. And the main question: Do you have any questions? If yes, you can ask me now. If you don't, right now. And if you like think like you have any questions, that's my email. You can shoot me an email regarding your questions regarding this particular presentation or you or you need some kind of guidance while preparing your resume or you know trying to find your career path you can just do and you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well and you can see the way I'm speaking to you right now is completely different with the way I portray myself on LinkedIn it's it's this is so this is what I'm telling you so you try to tell something else on the field and you try to do something else at the home when you try to mix both you try to excel that's then and learn Excel again and open for questions. Thank you, Atharva. Really, we are proud of you and you are explained very well and share your ideas and given the suggestions to our students. Thank you very much. I requesting to all if you want to ask any questions, yeah, anything you can raise your hand, please. Ashwada Kadam, ma'am, have a question. Um, yes. Please unmute. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hello. Uh, uh, actually, you must not be familiar with me because I have joined Anand Mishwa Guru Kul two years back only. Again. Okay. So, my question is that see, one of my niece, she's staying in New York. Okay. Okay. And she's facing the problem of depression. From okay. here, we are telling her, like, oh, think positive, okay, uh, do all online courses. She's doing everything, but still she can't cope up with that situation, okay? So mm -hmm. did you experience or your classmate experience the same thing? And if yes, then how she, how the classmate cope up with it? Yes, that's a good question. I mean, even, even uh, every one of us have went through a part of it after being here and after being in such, you know, situation which you are not expecting um what i would try and uh, give my advice over right over here is you know speak to people because what happened is like when this happened we all we all six of us like i i stay with five another of my roommates but we all six of us were stuck and we had no conversation with each other or out of the world there was no conversation and we tried, I mean, at, after a certain point, we, there were some points where we, we were getting quarreling or something like that. So that might feel that you are helpless, you, you are not getting help. I would definitely tell her that um, follow the Indian Embassy page. I mean, follow the Indian Embassy page. They have given really good techniques and they are taking really good steps. So right now, if you are, if, or if your niece is facing very uh, hard depression or she is not able to help herself and I know that there are doctors but they and getting a treatment is absolutely a fine it's it's nothing like you you can't take a treatment I mean it's completely fine cancel the Indian Embassy because Indian Embassy is providing free services to the students anywhere the hostages or anywhere who is from India right now 
they are providing free services, just give them a call and they will try to help you with the professional services or the professional ideas what needs to be done in that area. But it is highly recommended to call them because I myself uh, call them and if you have anyone in your contact and I'm staying in US, just ask them to register on the link provided by Indian Embassy. Uh, you can just put up your name, details for the you know evacuation if you are stuck. If she's stuck right now, she can come by evacuation. Because the thing is that when you see your family members, you're happy. That's the thing. Yes, thank you. Definitely, I'll give a solution to her. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Anyone and again? Anybody wants to ask anything? Uh, Sachin, I'm back, of course, sir. I have a question. Uh, hello, Tharuva. Hello, sir. Uh, actually, today, uh, no question from my side, but today I'm very huh? happy to see and hear you after uh, four or five years. Four or five and, years, yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, really, when uh, students like you, after achieving something in professional life and came back to us and say your success, uh, success stories, uh, believe me, that is the proud and happiest moment for us as a teacher. And in college, we have to say that 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 we have to say And as you rightly said, we all are the members of big AVG family. And exactly. you are always welcome to your own AVG family. Exactly. I wish you a very bright and successful future. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Anyone? Okay. Uh, I. Okay. Uh, I request to Dawa, sir. Hello, sir. Are you raising my voice? Hello. Hello, sir. Sir, I unmute you. You are on your side. You are on your side. Sir, hello, sir. Madam, what do you say? हेलो हेलो आह हाँ तो पंत मा सीमा मैडम ना रिक्वेस्ट करूँ सीमा मैडम हाँ सीमा मैडम आई रिक्वेस्टिंग तू हॉर प्रिंसिपल सीमा मैडम यू स्पीक सम टू वर्ड्स ए गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू अथर्व वंस अगेन थैंक यू थैंक्स अलार्ड इट वाज यू नो व्हाट अ नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन यू हैव गि� I mean, I had seen your uh, multi-cassette, you know, skills. You had so many skills. You are a singer, you are an actor, and you were a very good student. But this is a new thing, I think, uh, we have discovered in you, that you are a very good speaker. And it was Thank excellent you. presentation. We all had enjoyed. Earlier, I was uh, thinking that uh, being I'm treating you as a student only. You are, uh, I think, to know that you are assistant project manager but i thought that you are doing some internship or something so but i was not knowing that you know you are a professional now after completing your you know education there and uh, there is uh, as you said that you have learned cooking also and how you are uh, handling that uh, stress situation there it is everything yeah. and you have chosen to sit outside the chirping of birds we can exactly know, listen so this is such a wonderful thing i mean now uh, that it came in your mind that you should sit outside and that 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 way you, know, you can look you know you have you're not stressed it is exactly. uh, so nice listening to you and uh, it is really an honor for yourself also that the school where you were studying the professors who were teaching you today you they are listening to you it's a really 
exactly an honor for you and i always had you know proud on you i had written a chapter in that book i selected yes. you because as a student you were always in my mind i always used to think and you had been coming before uh, moving to us also you had come to meet me and uh, you had told me that you know you are uh, you know some traveling business also i think tours and travels yes, also i and, uh, was doing that i mean yes. you were trying so many new things i never found you that you were sitting my dear something is always going in your mind so i uh, really believe that you know as i have written a chapter but i'm going to write a book on you you will give me that opportunity <laughs> to write definitely definitely and uh, as a uh, as a you know we are very very proud of you being uh, you now i think 6 yes. years you have been uh, uh, you know left our anand vishwa gurukul but still uh, just uh, one message just i had sent you and immediately you agreed to do that and that was you know you are so humble so nice and so uh, good student still and thank you, you thank always you will be in our memory and we always will be considering you the uh our student of anand vishwa yes, so student student you, you, do, you always yes. need to consider so me as a student so actually because, uh, i yeah. want to award you one certificate because you have given such a nice gautam i request you please show that certificate and i had mentioned in that certificate you as a student only because and i am sorry if you want me to change no, it to no, assistant project manager i think that's completely but, fine uh, you are a, you will always be a student for us and uh, now that's completely fine uh, today listening to you i think we should become your student because you have presented no. so nicely and your presentation was great and everything was to the point and we really enjoyed your session and thanks a lot for joining us you must have got up early today because you had to there uh, i think it was really, 9 8 okay just 30. an hour okay just an hour early but that's completely fine but it was my pleasure speaking to all of you yeah. because um you know interacting with uh, the peers you have learned everything from it's the best thing you can do and as i said earlier in my presentation if you are giving some of your inputs to your peers and if they find it you know it's something is good out of it then they'll be more than happy as i can see your face is all right now so if you are happy enough and just try to get all those things um and persistence is the key if you try come doing something else because here i am completely aware that i i might lose my job tomorrow or day after tomorrow but yeah i got things planned in my mind what if i do my these things so if you keep some of your positive attitude you know bit of you know you know imbalance in your life that happens every time but uh, you need to get back stand up and again walk again through that same harsh fire flames absolutely that's the atharva gosavi the atharva gosavi because always you know you believe in keep on going keep on going that's very exactly. nice exactly and uh, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, we really you. enjoyed your session and i think for students also it was a great inspiration seeing you here thanks a lot for joining thank you thanks a lot thank you madam uh i requesting to our sir Please speak two words. Hi, Akarwa. Hello, sir. जो तुझे आई वाला ना लास अगर प्रोग्रेस वो गुण जो आनंद डाला से मोहन चाई पिक्चर जस्ट था अमला डाला कि आनंद विश्व गुरु कुंज या परिवार अपना एक विद्यार्थी तातार समुद्र परिक्रमे जाओ मताला
वेगळ्या अर्थाने आज तू एक वेगळा एक आनंद विषय गुरु बोल आमच्या मला वाटतं मेंद्र मॅडम देखील या बघता ऐकता येते त्यांचं एक स्वप्न होत की आपली मुलं परदेशात जाऊन शिकावं आता हा काळ सगळा बदललेला आहे परदेशामध्ये सगळं वातावरण बदललेलं असेल आता परवाच आपल्या देशाच्या पंतप्रधानाने स्वावलंबी होण्यासाठी म्हणून प्रयत्न करा असं सांगितलेला आहे तुझ्यासारख्या सगळ्या विषयाने अशा विद्यार्थ्यांनी आता पुन्हा आपल्या देशाचा थोडा विचार आपल्याला करावा लागेल की जे घटना आतापर्यंत घडलं या देशामध्ये अतिशय पोटेन्शियल आहे एनर्जी आहे टॅलेंट आहे वाय शुड नॉट युज दॅट टॅलेंट टू ग्रो अवर नेशन एक्झॅक्टल इम्पॉर्टंट सो बेटर यू कॉन्सन्ट्रेट ऑल राईट पण इकडे आपल्या देशामध्ये आता या सगळ्या पुढच्या काळामध्ये या तरुणांना तुझ्यासारख्या मुलांची गरज आहे तुझ्यासारख्या एका विद्यार्थ्याची गरज आहे की तो ब्रेनस्टॉर्मिंग करेल विद्यार्थ्याला आज कन्फ्युजन आहे सगळं इथे बरोबर हे इतकं युथ वाढत चाललं आहे जो चेहरा मला आठवतो तेव्हा तेव्हा तो मॅनेजमेंटच्या ऑफिस मध्ये यायचा तो मिळाला एक जिद्द असेल ध्येय असेल की कुठल्या एक क्षेत्रामध्ये तुमचं तुम्ही नाव करू शकता सहज कोणीतरी जर लता मंगेशकरला विचारलं होतं मला आठवत लता मंगेशकरला विचारलं होतं की तुम्हाला समजा गाण्यामध्ये नाही करिअर करता आली असते तर तुम्ही काय केलं असते त्याचं उत्तर पण छान होतं ज्या करिअर मध्ये मी गेले असते तिथे लता मंगेशकर गेले असते एक्झॅक्टली बरोबर तुझ्या ह्या बोलण्यावर मला असं वाटतं अनेक कॉलेजच्या विद्यार्थ्यांना वेगळी नक्की दिशा मिळाली असते अलीकडे काय झालं सोनार आणि कान टोचल्याशिवाय कळत नाही आम्ही कितीही वर्गामध्ये शिक्षक सतत बोलत असतो त्या त्यावेळी ते कंटाळवाण वाटत पण ज्यावेळी तुझ्यासारखे विद्यार्थी या सगळ्या परिस्थितीच्या वर जातात जे मी दोन हजार आठ साली कॉलेज सुरू केलं तर मला आज अभिमान वाटायला लागला मला पावती मिळाली नाही की काहीतरी मी केलंय असं मला वाटायला लागलं आणि नक्कीच नक्कीच सर तुझ्यासारख्या विद्यार्थ्याने केव्हा तरी आनंद विश्व गुरुकुल परिवारातले सदस्य नक्की तुझी वाढ बघता आहेत की काहीतरी नवं आहे आपल्या संस्थेसाठी नवं काहीतरी दे या मुलांसाठी काहीतरी नवं दे हे सगळे प्लॅटफॉर्म आपल्याला उभे करायला लागतील बरोबर हा किती आहे नाही सांगता येत किती महिन्यांचा आहे किती दिवसांचा आहे किती वर्षांचा आहे सांगता येणार नाही लाईफस्टाईलच पूर्ण बदलून जाणार आहे सगळंच बदल होणार आहे आणि ते जवळजवळ जोपर्यंत या कोरोना नावाच्या काय म्हणते व्हायरस वरती जोपर्यंत उपचार येत नाही त्याला प्रचंड मोठा काळ जाणार आहे आणि या सगळ्या काळाला भारतामधली लोक नक्की अपेक्षा करून आहे तुमच्यासारख्या विद्वान हुशार विद्यार्थ्यांनी आपल्या महाविद्यालयाकडे बघा बघावं आपल्या देशाकडे बघावं आपल्या आई वडिलांकडे बघावं शेवटी आपण कुठेतरी बाहेर असलो ना तरी नगळत आपला देश म्हटलं की आपली भाषा म्हणतो आपली शाळा म्हणतो की आपले शिक्षक म्हणतो कुठे मन गदगदून येतं आणि काहीतरी त्यांना करावंच वाटतं खूप सुंदर बोललात आय व्हेरी मच हॅपी ऑन डे ऑफ आवर फॅमिली मेंबर तुझ्या या कुटुंबामध्ये मनापासून स्वागत करतो भरभरून बोललात लाख लाख तुला शुभेच्छा धन्यवाद धन्यवाद ओके थँक्यू थँक्यू जवळ सर थँक्यू व्हेरी मच लेट्स वी प्रोसीड फॉर द लास्ट स्टेप ऑफ द अवर वेबिनार दॅट इज अ वोट ऑफ थँक्स गुड इव्हनिंग ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आय वुड लाईक टू थँक the our principal uh, madam dr seema radikar madam you gave me an opportunity to speak uh, on this occasion and it is a matter of honor for me on behalf of the unlock lockdown team of anand vishwa gurukul junior college i would like to thanks our today's speaker for ex student atharva gosavi for making an excellent presentation and making this webinar interesting and meaningful i would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our sharda education society's secretary honorable mahaguru dr pradeep dawal sir our senior college principal uh, dr arshala likhite madam dr vaidai kolamkar madam our vice principal mrs dipika talati madam professor sachin ambegaukar sir mrs seema ganu madam uh, dr gargi datta madam and our teachers our students and parents and our ex students also for this presence in this webinar once again thanks to all for the truly memorable evening we hope that you all can join with us again on tomorrow's with the new topic and new speaker and at the last with the permission of our principal madam here i declare that our today's webinar is over stay home stay safe thank you good night to all be safe take care bye thank you thank you thank you, you. 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 you.